Sakshi from IT sector to commerce, telecom, energy, budget session will hold massive importance for all of us. So let's listen in first to the reactions that are coming in yeah. and then we'll have a conversation precisely of what are these expectations based on the previous budgets as well. Listen in. I think PLI, that is uh, production link incentives, would be enhanced uh, and uh, more products will be brought in and uh, there will be more scope for investments in India. That is what we expect from this budget. Secondly, the government also plans for spiritual tourism, uh, especially the religious tourism, which has attracted uh, many people, as we have seen, especially in Varanasi and now with Ayodhya. So I'm sure the other spots will also be uh, taken into consideration. Basic uh, exemption limit jo hai, wo, wo hai, wo ki hai, wo ho to acha hai. Income tax ke bade different jo deir se aate hai, to wo haldi ho. Aur chote chote aise hum avdan hai ki jisme government ka intention acha hai. Lekin kahi na kahi confusion ke karan ye इकत हो रही है तो जैसे कि 43 बी का प्रावधान आया है उसको थोड़ा क्लियर करके माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल एंटरप्राइजेस को बेनिफिट के लिए ये प्रावधान है तो उसमें थोड़ा सुधार करके उनके फायदे में हो और उसके आत्मा से बिजनेस निकल ना जाए ये हमने लिखा भी है और ये अपेक्षा भी है दिस इज द रोड मैप व्हिच आवर कंट्री इज बीइंग लेइंग नाउ एंड सिंस इज द इलेक्शन ईयर आल्सो पीपल दे एक्सपेक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ रिलीफ टू दिस बजट लाइक our 1000 million youth in the country the largest youth in the entire world those are the in working age and for them to provide uh, employment they need to give emphasis on expenditure and infrastructure and also they need to give emphasis on the msme sector the common understanding and that it should be a populist budget and uh, there should be a lot of populist measures where you know schemes like manrega and public spending is encouraged which could uh, you know sort of dent the fiscal deficit of the country but the expectations as of now that has been built into the market is that we are expecting uh, fy25 fiscal deficit to be at 5.3% of the gdp and uh, against an fy24 estimate of 5.9% of the gdp hum yahi dekhna chahte hain jo jaise hote aa rahe hain kuch pichle saalon se उसका एक जो सर्टनिटी इंडियन इकोनॉमी के ऊपर जो अभी आए हैं भरोसा सर्टनिटी उसको कैसे हम हाउ वी कीप दैट गोइंग दैट उसको उस पर हम ध्यान देंगे कि वही इंडिकेशन रहना चाहिए क्योंकि ग्लोबली अभी इंडिया का ऊपर जो अटेंशन है वो काफ़ी स्ट्रांग है तो उसको ही हम हमको हम चाहते हैं कि उस, उसको स्टडी हम रखें so you heard about expectations from across fraternities across india entrepreneurs who are telling us what precisely do they expect with this interim budget sakshi you know while we were going through the research and what sort of expectations are there i also realized something that obviously the strategies of any government changes and in the backdrop of ram mandir which was such a big uh, moment for this country but do you think tourism whether it's religious spiritual economic tourism will be a focus for this government can it find a mention in this interim budget i do hope so because of course we've actually seen such a big event of uh, ram mandir go by and the kind of popularity that modi government is already backing on ahead of the elections because mm. of the ram mandir launch and the inauguration now of course 10 billion dollars were actually spent on wow. ayodhya's make over and uh, the inauguration of ram mandir and of course they're betting big on huge tourism remember just ahead of the ram mandir mm. prime Minister it was also at lakshwadeep and you uh, saw the lakshwadeep Correct. versus maldives Domestic controversy tourism. and they're talking about how mm. each and every place in india can have a special uh, tourist attraction and of course with ayodhya now coming as top of the spiritual tourism radar there will be other places they're talking about varanasi now developing that That's as true. well so that is going to attract a lot of uh, world tourists to india mm. when it they, uh, it comes to spiritual tourism in india because this is the land of spirit so tourism and hospitality industry Street. they'll be looking forward to this interim budget and not just perhaps other companies very oh, interesting yes. let's go across to our reporters as well on the ground ashwarya palewal piyush mishra ashutosh mishra and also rahul gautam continue to be with us uh, ashwarya oh i see it's already raining uh, yeah. in the streets of national capital but our reporters are standing ground 
Uh, Ashwarya, and you go ahead if you want to take a question from one well, of the Well, Ashwarya, you know, there are two or three things since you track the finance ministry very, very closely. One, uh, the Modi government has been falling behind as far as the disinvestment targets are concerned. Even though this time around there was a moderate target of 50,000 crores, they're just at 10, 12 odd crores, 1,000 odd crores right here. What do you expect on that front going forward from here? Are we going to hear from the finance minister on some of the disinvestments that are already planned? Will we see a at least some escalation in the remaining two months of the fiscal year. Well, definitely, you know, we have seen how the government has been pushing on that front. And we have seen how Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has time and again been speaking about the fact that it is because of the previous regime that they are now seeing that this particular sector becoming extremely, extremely difficult. But the government and, uh, you know, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also has been pushing for it because the government understands that they do need to offload a lot of share. Uh, you know, they, they, they need to make sure that the government is smooth and running and they also need a lot of money. And those sectors which are at the moment not working for the government is something that the government wants to do away with. So all those things are obviously something that the government will be speaking about. But yes, 2024 big elections, that is something which we will majorly see because that is something which we saw in the year, uh, you know, uh, we, we, have, we have been seeing how most of the things that the government has been doing is to make sure that they tell the people the good things that are, have been ha happening. So we will see the finance minister touching upon all those things. But yes, one of the sectors which we should expect the government to be also looking at is the taxes. That is something which most of the people and we also standing outside the finance ministry in the morning are hoping that the government will be speaking about. Uh, so, Aishwarya, on taxes front, are we really going to hear some more push for the new tax regime? Of course, it was made very, very lucrative in the previous budget. We've actually seen that uh, two years back when the new tax regime was introduced, it was a big failure for the Modi government. Not even 5% people migrated from old tax regime to new tax regime. But last time, when seven slabs were introduced, the tax rates were made very, very attractive. Even the standard deduction was uh, made equivalent to old tax regime. Do you see some more push coming in so that more and more population can actually shift? There are reports that are already suggesting that about 50% of the taxpayers have actually migrated. Well, definitely, you know, we are seeing uh, that the government has been pushing for it. We are seeing how wherever, uh, you know, people go, there is definitely a push for it because the government wants that there has to be clarity and clarity is something that finance minister will be speaking about and we might also see the finance minister making sure that there is only one slab. That is also something that the government at the moment is looking at. More clarity will definitely come in because data is something that the government has been pushing for and they obviously want more and more people to be coming under the radar. That's the reason why we might see a new push coming in from the finance minister this time and more clarity definitely coming in from none other than the finance minister on the new regime.